What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys 5 Photoshop hacks. So guys, as you know, I'm uploading all 12 days before Christmas, and it did start yesterday, so today, I wasn't going to upload just because I did feel quite ill, but of course, I didn't really want to ruin the streak, so hopefully, you do go on to enjoy the video, I do apologise for my voice as well, so because of this, I would really appreciate it if you would leave a like on the video, if we can break 250 likes, I would really appreciate that. Also guys, we are getting so close to 10,000 subscribers, I'm really trying to reach it before Christmas, hopefully we can get there, I don't know if we can, but fingers crossed, we can reach it. Anyways guys, with all of that said, let's get on to the number one hack. So guys the first hack is actually quite simple it's more of a sort of easter egg than a hack but um, all you have to do is go to edit at the top of your photoshop scroll all the way down to preferences and this will open up a separate drop down menu under this menu you want to scroll all the way up to interface and this will open up a separate tab on your photoshop and now holding down shift and alt you want to select one of the color themes. Like I said, you want to hold down shift and alt while you are doing this. And like I said, you just want to select any one of these color themes. And as you can see, the color themes will turn into toast. This isn't really much of a Photoshop hack, more of an Easter egg. But if you then press control on your keyboard and select one of these pieces of toast, as you can see, they will change into coffee. And this is just a fun little hack and Easter egg that Photoshop included. So guys, the next hack is related to Twitter headers. I know a lot of people ask, how do you save your Twitter headers in the highest quality? possible. Just because when people put their headers into Photoshop, if you don't use this tip, then your header is going to become really low quality and it's not going to look very good. So to do this, you want to open up your header in a separate document, as you can see here. You want to head over to the opacity slider and you want to slide down the opacity to 99%. As you can see, some checkered squares will appear. Don't worry about this, but now what you want to do is of course go to file, export, and then select save for web and now you can just simply save this as a PNG and having the opacity on 99% will make this the highest quality. So guys, the next tip I have is more of an Easter egg, but it's actually really simple. So you want to go over to the edit toolbar tab here on the left hand side. You want to click and hold and select edit toolbar and this will open up a separate window on your Photoshop. Once you guys have done this, you want to hold down shift and you just want to select done. And as you can see, that edit toolbar will now turn into a banana. Like the first hack that I showed you, this is definitely more of a fun Easter egg, but overall it is quite funny to do. So guys, the next hack I have is more of a tip and it's quite simple, but I get a lot of questions asked about it. So um, if you haven't already got your rulers on your Photoshop, press control plus R on your keyboard. And as you can see, you will have these rulers appear on the side. A lot of people don't know how to use these, but if you click and hold on them, as you can see, you can drag out a ruler, which you can put in the center, the side, the middle. Like I said, it really doesn't matter. As you can see, you can drag ones from the top and make sure they are centered. And if you do want to hide them, you just have to press control and H on your keyboard. But like I said, I definitely recommend you do use rulers just because they will help you center things. So say for instance, I made a brand new layer and I had some text and I wanted to center this text I can literally just make sure it's centered using the rulers and that will make it look overall a whole lot better so guys the next tip I have is definitely going to be the most useful it's actually quite simple to do as well you want to head over to the top select edit go to preferences and under preferences you want to select file handling as you can see this will open up a separate tab on your photoshop and now you want to make sure you have these options selected as i do i know personally i never used to have these selected uh, just because it's automatic to have these deselected but you definitely want to make sure you um, have photoshop recover your items every five minutes just because if you do ever lose anything it will open up once you do reopen Photoshop. I know a lot of people do know this tip, but it's just a lifesaver for me. Every now and then, I'd probably say about three times in a month, Photoshop will crash for me. And if you don't have these options selected, of course, you can't recover the work. Anyways, guys, that is it for the Photoshop tips. If you have any of your own or Photoshop hacks, Easter eggs, whatever, put them in the comments down below and I would really like to see them. Anyways, guys, that is it for the video. Like I said, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. I really would appreciate it. And yeah, hopefully you did enjoy. This has been Visual or James and I'm out. Peace.